I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but on can think deeply and be quite insane. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success, such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. No desire for material advantages has animated me in all this work, though I hope, for the sake of the continuance of my labors, that these will soon follow, naturally, as a compensation for valuable services rendered to science and industry. We build to tear down. Most of our work and resources squandered. Our onward march is marked by devastation. Everywhere there is an appalling loss of time, effort and life. A cheerless view, but true. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. With ideas it is like with dizzy heights you climb, at first they cause you discomfort and you are anxious to get down, distrustful of your own powers, but soon the remoteness of the turmoil of life and the inspiring influence of the altitude calm your blood, your step gets firm and sure and you begin to look, for dizzier heights. The harness of waterfalls is the most economical method known for drawing energy from the sun. The history of science shows that theories are perishable. With every new truth that is revealed we get a better understanding of nature and our conceptions and views are modified. Archimedes was my ideal. I admired the works of artists, but to my mind, they were only shadows and semblances. The inventor, I thought, gives to the world creations which are palpable, which live and work. I cannot exaggerate the effect of this marvelous sight on my childish imagination. Day after day I asked myself what is electricity and found no answer. Eighty years have gone by since and I still ask the same question, unable to answer it. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Most certainly, so planets are no inhabited, but others are, and among these, there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I had been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. My brain is only a receiver, in the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. So astounding are the facts in this connection, that it would seem as though the Creator, Himself had electrically designed this planet. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament, with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. 